Yo guys, Speed E back here with another Pocket Planes video. And today I'm excited to start a brand new beginner series. If you haven't already, make sure to watch my 10 tips for beginners video. I'm gonna be putting a lot of those tips into practice in this playthrough. So as you can see, I started my game out in the Asia region. And that's because I find that there's more level two and three cities concentrated in that area for expansion. Now, if you already started your game out in a different region, don't worry. A lot of the things I'm going over will apply anywhere. So when you start out a new game, you start with 30,000 coin and 15 bucks. Coins are generally used to expand to different cities and also to buy more plane slots, while bucks are used to expand your fleet of planes. So let's talk strategy. The main thing you want to avoid at these low levels is investing in cities and planes that won't help you grow in the future. And what that means is avoiding buying level one cities and low capacity planes. So what that looked like in my playthrough is doing enough jobs to get to 50,000 coin so I can unlock a level three city. Level two and level one cities might be tempting early on, but let me show you what the advantages are for getting a level three city. To start off, let me show you the amount of jobs that are in Sendai, a level one city. So you can see here, there are only four jobs available. What that means is you may have to wait another five minutes for the jobs to refresh in order to fill up your plane. Now let's take a look at Osaka, a level two city. You can see here that there are almost double the amount of jobs in this level two city. And finally, let's look at the level three city, Shanghai, that I just unlocked. And the trend continues as you can see there are more jobs here as well. So if you're able to hold out and save enough coin for level two and three cities, I guarantee it'll be worth it in the long run. The same strategy applies for buying new planes. As you level up in the game, you will start unlocking brand new planes that are bigger and better. The best plane that I've found at these low levels is the Kangaroo. The Kangaroo unlocks at level seven. So if you can hold out until then, this is the best investment for your future. I personally waited until the Kangaroo M was on sale in the market. The M allows for a mix of passenger and cargo to be loaded on the plane. And I personally feel it's more versatile than the P or C series. Also, if you're low on bucks, it is always cheaper to buy the parts separately and craft the plane than to buy the whole plane itself. So those are a few of my tips for people just starting out in pocket planes. I'll definitely be making more beginner videos just like this. So if you enjoy this content, make sure you subscribe. I also started a Discord channel that I'm gonna leave down in the description. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.